people have at the moment, especially uh, given the success of finding a vaccine for the coronavirus, is why after so many years and so much investment in cancer research, why haven't we seen a cure for cancer yet? Thanks for that great question. You're correct. Billions has been invested in cancer research over the years, so it's absolutely fair to ask what progress has been made with that money. But it's important to remember that we have come a long way. Overall cancer survival in the UK has doubled in the last 40 years. That means in the 1970s, only one in four or 25% of people with cancer would survive 10 years or more after their diagnosis. Today, that figure is two in four or 50% of people. But cancer is a complex disease for which we won't have a single cure. And this is why people still suffer and die from cancer. It's not one disease, but a collection of 200 or more diverse diseases, each requiring a unique approach to prevention, diagnosis and treatment. Cancer is also highly adaptable. It changes the way it looks and behaves to keep surviving. Cancer can spread to other organs and it can become resistant to treatments that initially work. Finding solutions to these problems are something that still needs doing in order to improve survival rates even more. But we know that research can find the answers. Today, some cancers have survival rates of over 90%, meaning nine in 10 people will survive their diagnosis for 10 years or more. And thanks to breakthroughs such as the HPV vaccine, it's predicted that cases of cervical cancer could be nearly eradicated. We still have so much to learn about the biology of cancer and what makes cancer so diverse and difficult to overcome. That's why research is still needed. Scientists still have questions about cancer that only research can provide the answers for. And that's why we must keep supporting these scientists and help them start new cancer cures for the future. Thank you.